Okay, uh, welcome back. So in this next video, which I am going to entitle homologous chromosomes, I'm going to attempt to demystify this term for us, all right? So you will have come across in your reading or in the lecture a term which is used frequently, and this term is homologous chromosomes, all right? So let me remind you of a fact which we've talked about in the lecture um, all the way up until this point, all right? And we have said that human beings have a diploid genome, all right? And this term, diploid, refers to the fact that we have two sets of chromosomes. Now, as you'll remember from the lecture, we inherit one set of chromosomes from our mother and another set of chromosomes from our father. So our diploid genome, we can describe with a number. So that number is 2n equals 46, where n equals the number of chromosomes in a set. All right? So we receive 1n equals 23 chromosomes from mom, and we receive, we inherit 23 chromosomes from dad, all right? So I've made this diagram to illustrate what happens to homologous chromosomes when they are replicated, all right? Now remember, DNA replication and cell division go hand in hand with each other. You can't have a cell division without first replicating the DNA. So here, let's take a look at this cartoon diagram where I've got these linear lines, all right? These lines represent unduplicated homologous chromosomes, all right, which in my shorthand is chromos. Okay, so let's say that this is a pair of homologous chromosomes. Now, this word homologous, this means that they are the same. They contain the same genes, and here I've indicated these locations of different genes all along the lengths of these homologous chromosomes. So this location of this gene right here, this gene locus, we'll say is the A gene locus. And here on this other arm is the B and the C. Now let's say that this is the chromosome which we inherited from mom, okay? This other chromosome, therefore, would be the chromosome which we inherited from dad, okay? Now, we inherit homologous chromosomes from mom and dad. So that means that the same chromosome, this chromosome from dad contains the same genes which we inherited from mom. So we may inherit the A gene from dad just as we do from mom, but we may have a different version of the same gene. So for example, I'm going to illustrate this different version of the B gene by indicating it with a lowercase b. All right. Now, different versions of the same gene are called alleles. All right. Alleles, this term describes different versions of the same gene. So we may, we may inherit the exact same versions of this A gene from mom as we do from dad, but different versions of the B gene. And let's say, just for the sake of example, that we inherit a different version of the C gene from dad. Okay, that is what we mean by homologous chromosomes. And as we've said before, we inherit 23 pairs of homologous chromosomes from mom and from dad. Now, this arrow here right, right here indicates that after DNA replication, we go from having unduplicated homologous chromosome pairs to duplicated. homologous chromosome pairs, which in my cartoon illustration here, these take on an X shape. So right here on this left-hand side, all right, the, this, let's say that this is the duplicated chromosome from mom, and as such, it will contain the capital A gene allele, or locus, capital A, capital B, capital B, and capital C, and capital C, all right? Now, the exact same DNA is going to be on this half as it will be on this half. And that is because DNA replication is a very faithful process. 
It must be. We have to be able to preserve the DNA sequence of these chromosomes. So what's on this side, all right, is the exact genetic identical copy of what is found on this side. Now these two arms that are a mere reflection of these two arms, these arms of this duplicated chromosome has a particular name. These are sister chromatids, okay? And these duplicated sister chromatids reflect this DNA replication event which has occurred that has replicated mom's chromosome, okay? So dad's chromosome, when we replicate it, what are we gonna have? Well, if this left hand sister chromatid contains the A, the B, and the C alleles, excuse me, the lowercase B and the lowercase C of the genes, what are we going to get on the right-hand side? What is going to be on this sister chromatid? Right? DNA replication has to be faithful, therefore, capital A, lowercase b, and lowercase c. Okay? So in this next part, I want you guys to show me in your homework, all right? Fill this out. Complete this for yourselves. I am going to give these two homologous unduplicated chromosomes some identifiers of these genetic loci, right? So this is going to be Q, R, S, the Q, the R, and the S loci, and the capital W and the capital X. So this is going to be the chromosome which we inherit from mom and from dad. This will be the lowercase Q, lowercase R, lowercase S, lowercase W, and lowercase X. And after DNA replication, what are these chromosomes going to reflect? All right, so see you next time.